Welcome tarot card readers, April here on Tarot and Witchery with another installment of my Scary Tarot Card series. I have eight cards in this series, eight videos. Check them all out. These cards are cards that I'm calling scary, but really they're just thematic elements in them that are more challenging. A lot of times these cards sort of trip us up when they come in a reading. Maybe you're new to tarot. Even if you've been reading for a while, I'm interested in your feedback on what I have to say about these. These are just ideas for dealing with these cards when they come up in a reading. I'm going to give you lots of examples of these cards and working with them, as well as questions that you can ask yourself when these cards come up. So you may want to get a piece of paper and a pen to write down anything that interests you. In the meantime, let's get to it. You may have guessed what the scary tarot card is. Oh from. my, it's the death card. I got to tell you, when I pull out cards and I've got someone sitting in front of me and this card comes up, I always check their face when I flip it over <laughs> to make sure that I don't need to, right before I start actually talking about the cards, address this card and say, hey, how are you feeling about this card? Uh, death is a weird subject. And so when it comes up, even if you're a seasoned reader in the tarot and have lots of ideas about it, you know, there's a sense of finality there. And uh, it can be really frightening for people when the death card comes up. So before I jump into it, I want to ask you down below in the description box, I mean in the comments box, excuse me, the your favorite death card and what deck it's from. Yeah, so the death card, uh, lots of cool stuff going on here. I mean, we've got, uh, we've got, he's just marching across the land and people are dead. There's a crown down here. So there's a king. There's a young child, there's someone mourning, there's like a pope or a bishop or something, right? And the point of this is that death comes for us all. Anyone. She, he does not favor anyone. Death is a natural part of our life and a part of the cycles within our life. And to not, to not respect the beauty of death. Uh, I do not want to live forever. I'm, I'm definitely hoping to get reincarnated a bunch more times and come back and do this again in different ways. Forever, and it's good that things die. We, we don't want to have things that live forever because they color our lives. Whatever we have in our life colors our life for a long period of time. So we need things to pass and go. Over here in the New Vision Tarot, we have the other side of it. Like over here, we see the, the castle and is the sun setting? Is the sun rising? And then here we have him like, oh, look, you can really see him begging. And there's this uh, just gray sky here. And um, we see his crook on the ground. We can see that a lot better than right here. I never knew what that was until we're here. We see the crook. And, you know, even those that beg, it still comes. So... Here we have the Crow Tarot, and a common theme with the Death card is that uh, that our spirit flies on, that an aspect of ourselves moves on. When the Death card comes up in a reading, we're not leaving everything behind. We are taking with us some aspect of ourself or some aspect of the situation or some aspect of our life will continue. I did hear, I remember Saturnarian saying that she got this card the day before her cat died. So it can be foretelling of death, but for the most part, uh, it really just talks about things that are coming to an end and what lies beyond for us. We don't always think about that. I love this. Oh, by the way, this is the Crow Tarot from MJ Cullinan. Hey there, have you ever thought that you might wanna study the tarot with me? If so, then you may wanna sign up for my newsletter down below. It is infrequent, but I do give course updates when I drop them, and I also give out free spreads when I send out my newsletter. So if this sparks your interest, go ahead and click the link below in the description box. This is the Fifth Spirit Tarot, and I love it's got like all the different generations, right? It's just got the baby, the couple, the elder, and then death. So. I think one of the things that death offers us, the death card offers us, is a chance to reflect. They say that your life flashes before you as you're dying. And I think when this card comes up for you, it's a chance to really look back over a situation uh, and, and see all of the different aspects of it for what it is. 
And maybe even if you have the bravery to look at it from a detached viewpoint and see things just as they are, beautiful, terrifying, gorgeous, ugly at the same time without any kind of judgment on it. And so that's something that you can try to do as you're looking at a situation is how can I be objective about this situation and allow myself to see it for the many elements that it is, knowing that either some aspect of it is passing away or it is headed for rebirth in some way. Here we have the star tarot. And again, this idea of rebirth, we have the phoenix. The phoenix rises from the ashes. And we have like this this sense of this starry night and this portal. Look at, you see these hands? Like this portal, these two, this is actually a person's body. If you look at it, the feet are over here and it comes around. And then these hands here, this portal There's the butterfly, a symbol of rebirth, and then you've got the phoenix, which is a symbol of rebirth. There's something comforting about the death card in some ways. Death is a mystery, but it is, uh, in some ways, brings peace. It brings a resolution that is kind. And this is the death card in the For Hexa Tarot by MJ Cullen. And, and I, I love this face. There's something sweet about this. There's something like this touch is merciful. And so where's the mercy in the situation that you're in? Are you brave enough to see where it's merciful that this thing dies or comes to an end or some aspect of it dies and comes to an end? And, and can you embrace that mercy? Here we have the Everyday Witch Tarot. One thing is that we just don't know what's on the other side. And I think there's an aspect of, oh crap, now what? When the death card comes up. And, you know, I think it's important to acknowledge that, that when the thread is cut, we will pass through a door and we really don't know what will happen. The truth is when we're sitting in a situation, we already know what we've had. We know what we've done and how we've got there. Uh, but we, we can't really know the future ever. And so that aspect of death and that door that we have to walk through once we pass by can be daunting. You know, it really can be daunting. However, in Chris Ann's Lightseer Tarot here, she puts it as death and rebirth. And I love this aspect. I love the idea that you're looking into a new tomorrow, that the face that you're looking into of death is a new tomorrow that is coming your way. This is from the Super Lunaris Tarot. And you see the forest is burning down and from the ashes, a new seed is born. Uh, So there's just a a real beauty to the death card However, the one thing that's really important when you get this card is to realize that you're going to need to grieve and let go. We can't just focus on the, oh, look, it's just going to be super lovely because it's not necessarily just going to be super lovely. (laughs) Tarot of Transformation, I've got uh, a link to this down below. I absolutely love this tarot and there are limited copies of this left. This is the death card in that, tar- in that tarot and it tells us what we get out of the lesson and we get grieving and letting go. When the death card comes up, you just have to grieve it. I think that in the Western culture, we don't have a lot of language for grief. And so this can be an awkward aspect for us. We don't, we don't have very many traditions around grief anymore. It's not something that we're comfortable with. It's not something that other people are comfortable with letting us sit in. You know, they can sometimes become kind of weird about uh, about our grieving because they just don't know what to do. And it's because people want to make it better, you know. But when something is dying, there's no way to make it better. It's dead. If you've ever had a pet pass, and I've had several pets pass in my lifetime, it's terrible. Um, there's um, all the wonderful times that you had with that pet and that's just beautiful and wonderful, but there is no way to get over the sadness. You have to go through that sadness. And so we see here, there's like this death. She's actually sleeping here and then she's holding this. This is like her grief and in her grief, as she grieves, she learns to let go and rise again up. And I love this up here. There is this figure of wings and this light that she is headed towards. 
So, you know, I would say how, you know, a good question is how can I grieve this? How can I really honor the passing of this situation or aspect of self? How do I pay tribute to uh, the time that I put into this and how important it was to me and allow myself to really feel that, to really, really feel that because unless you grieve, you cannot let go and you do need to let go. When it comes time to, when it comes time and this card comes up, you've got to let go in order to step through that new door. You are it, it's it's only at that point, it's only when everything is reduced to ashes that the phoenix will be born again. If you made it this far, do me a favor and try to find something that mirrors death or the grim reaper down below and leave me those emojis or a great comment. But it would be cool if you left me those emojis because then I would know that you made it to the end. Let me know if you like this series as well. And remember, I've got the eight and the nine in there as well. There are eight videos total in this series. So check them out and check out my other playlists. Until we meet again, when the death card comes up for you, don't be afraid. Remember that this process is deeply important and powerful in bringing you into a new and fresh revelation of who you are. <laughs>